Howdy folks, my name is Darren from RC Scale Models and today we have another product. Product. This is an aftermarket product, this is from Metallic Details. They do resin, value etch, and now they've started to move into 3D products. And this is a 3D printed item. As you can see it's for the A10 Thunderbolt 2. It's a detailed engine set so you get two complete engines. It's for the Hobby Boss kit which has just been released, the uh, C version. So I want to upgrade and put the engines into it. It also will fit for the A and I'll possibly be the B. I believe all the aircraft use the same engines and stuff. Um, it's a little bit expensive. It's about 30, 40 quid. The kit for the, it goes to is about 30 quid. So you, if you do wish to upgrade the engines, you are looking at a 60 quid in total. Um, so just bear that in mind. Here's 148 scale. Um, let's take a look at what we get inside this one. What's inside this little box? It's well packaged, it is from Hanens. I mentioned it is about 30 40 quid. Um, it's well packaged, well done. It is 3D printed and the casting is pretty good. I have had a sneak peek already, so you get two of everything. Some parts I might not know what it is actually exactly for for the engine, but these are the outer intake section. I know some people say the intakes on the uh, kit version is slightly off. So we can change them now. These are the inner exhaust outlets. These are parts of the in, in, inner engine. These are the outer cover exhaust tips. We have the two engine detail. We have some of the rings inside. These look like the turbine blades. There's two sets. The little hanging brackets for mounting the engine inside the cowlings of the uh, aircraft which is exactly the same as I imagine and the instructions the instructions don't really give you colour call outs as well they just give you the assembly set, set. So I will just show you some reference pictures I have um, so the, a lot of it's silver, blacks, metals and the plumbing is a hell of a lot of orange plumbing so now as for the instructions it's very basic as you see it's make two, two complete engines, you don't have to um, but you might as well, they're both there so you start with the outer ring then the turbines by the looks of things and then this other casing which makes this section here and then you've got this section of casing and then your engine then the other outlet uh, of the uh, engine I, I'm not sure what that part's what they're, what they're all called but and then these are obviously the, uh, the back of the engine where the uh, exhaust comes out of the flames and whatever so these are probably um, the, the nozzles and stuff Here, here's the hanging bracket to hang it inside the aircraft and where that is the completed model or if you want to call it a model uh, there's nothing on the back as I say there is no colour call out so you just have to work off refer reference material but the nice thing about this is with the kit parts The engine parts on the kit parts are, are, are nice, but they're only one stage blades. They are cut out, but because they're moulded in, you're going to have to some kind of paint it and mask it off, so which is a bit tricky. But as for the resin ones, they're all separate, so you can paint these separately and then slot them in, paint this separately, and you don't have to worry about a lot of masking. It's a hell of a lot uh, nicer, cleaner fit. Let's move this out of the way and I'll show you the resin parts. Obviously I'll show you the engine straight away because this is probably the most detailed parts. So here is the engine detail. I don't want to handle it too much because there's a lot of fragile pipes and plumbing. So as I slowly rotate around it's nicely moulded or printed even because it is 3D printed sorry. I keep saying moulded. So I'm still getting used to these 3D printed products and uh, forgetting that it's printed now, not a uh, mould. So that looks superbly did, nicely done. There is a little bit of parts to be taken care of. Like it is on these ends, you can see these dots and stuff is where it's had the um, supports and stuff. So it takes a little bit of clean up. 
don't cut this tab off though because it is a key which uh, everything is keyed to go together so here are the nice engines again it's going to be metals blacks silvers chromes possibly a lot of plumbing uh, as again is uh, a lot of orange plumbing there's bits of blue so I think a nice black base first and then do your metal work and then carefully detail it up with the orange and blues and whatever is required second piece in this bag are these hanging brackets here are the hanging brackets there's nothing fancy about these but they will certainly do the job they have the uh, rivet detail on there as well so there's two of those next pieces are the turbines this is the uh, outer turbine with the nose piece on it nicely molded you see at the top it's got a small key this is ever to line it up inside the cowling on the back you can see there is another key slot which corresponds with this piece which is the second array of propellers or blades so you see it's keyed so they both go together as for them being put together this is them being dry fit together go together quite nicely it will take a little bit of clean up because if you look down the side there is a little bit of a gap and obviously that's where the um, supports have been it is a little bit rough I can feel it around around this edge so that's nicely done for blades next pieces are these inner rings of the engine which obviously the uh, these blades I think sit on the inside of this cowling and then the, this goes inside the front cowling so again it has nice detail nicely printed I have no idea what type of printer they use I don't know if it is a resin printer it's definitely not PLA because you can't see the lines in it so it must be some form of resin print but it is certainly fine and clean and crisp next piece are the exhaust tips these are the outer ones nicely done with that rivet detail so this will be possibly heat stained and uh, heat stain on metals and stuff and blues and oranges and bits of purple maybe and goldy colours just for that heat stain look there is an inner section for this which you don't really see all that well which is here these are the inner exhaust parts so how much of you are going to see of this I'm not sure you'll probably see the inner part but not so much the outer part as for this slot inside the engine I must imagine they're both the same uh, it is keyed again I will try and show you I think that's the inner piece so you don't see the outer piece at all because it sits right up inside so I don't see the point of probably painting the outside it's just the inner part is going to be needed to paint so that's the inner and outer parts which are basically just two separate pieces so next section are these pieces of the engine I'm not sure what these are you have these sections of the engine nice grill detail which is see through again these all these lumpy bits at the front is going to have to be clean smooth because this is where the um, attachment points were for the print that's not a problem again it's all keyed like you see in the middle it has that teardrop key se section um, last two pieces with the outer cowling and these little turbines so here are these smaller turbines that sit at the back of the engine nicely printed again they are these ones are not hollowed out but you do have those uh, supports at the back again these cleaning see it's keyed again again there's two of these because there's two of everything 
So this will be done in nice metals and heat staining again. So them two. And the last two pieces are just the basic outer rings. So here are the, the basic outer rings of the uh, cowlings. This is where the the, uh, the uh, airflow goes into the front of the engine. This one you can see. It be see the print on this one. Some of the lines. Um, is all parts are going to probably take going to need a wash to get some of the residue off and print aid uh, print solution or whatever they use um, the resin and stuff, liquid stuff. Um, and then probably a coat of uh, Mr. Surfacer primer would probably be nice to go over the top of this and then probably use Mr. Surfacer black if I, but which I don't have at the moment, which we'll probably have to buy some. Grey possibly and then paint it black afterwards, it all depends, but Mr. Surfacer probably help with these lines. Um, but again this is nice and sharp and clean. So there you are folks. So there you are my friends, a beautiful aftermarket set from Metallic Details, it's the uh, engine set if you wish to get this, it, as I say it's a little bit pricey and plus I've been waiting for someone to do an engine set for the A10 and they've come up with trumps with it so it's all good. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you next time.